So I'm here with the great Rabbi Aaron Cousin, um, originally from England, Leeds, Shlich of the Rebbe. And he gave us some, a special, special story that there happened with him and the Rebbe and a friend of his with the Rebbe about teaching children who go to public school, teaching them Torah. Let's hear this, Rabbi. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, shalom, everyone. Uh, yes, um, when I was a, a student in the uh, Lubavitch Yeshiva in uh, Crown Heights, New York, uh, over 60 years ago, um, we used to go every Wednesday to uh, public schools and take out the Jewish children and take them to a nearby uh, shul, synagogue, and we used to pray with them and teach them uh, a little Torah, tell them stories, uh, and give them some taste and, f and feeling towards uh, Judaism. Uh, now, one day, a Wednesday, which was especially, uh, we used to only go on Wednesdays because that was the uh, law uh, of uh, the New York State. And um, my birthday happened to be on a Wednesday. Now, uh, according to the Lubavitch custom, on one's birthday, one has to learn extra Torah, uh, both in the, the esoteric part of the Torah and also uh, the revealed part of the Torah and um, I wanted to spend the day the whole day uh, studying Torah instead of going on the Wednesday hour so I asked the Rebbe for an exemption on that particular day uh, whether uh, on that day I should uh, stay behind in the yeshiva and study a whole day instead of going on the Wednesday hour and uh, the Rebbe told me emphatically that I should go. He said, Avada Zolstegain. In Yiddish, he said that to me, which means, of course, you should go and you should make a very special day, a special a party for the children on that day, make it something really extraordinary. So it just goes to show how important it is to uh, teach Jewish children, even just to say Shema with them, make a bracha with them and things like that. It's, it's a very, very important thing, even more important than one's own personal study of the Torah. Now, Rabbi, let me ask you something. You told me, obviously we know a lot of people are now became a married Jewish, leading Jewish lives because of that one hour on Wednesday that you went to, my father went to, many more uh, rabbis and, and Rebbitsons taught. Correct. You have another colleague and dear old friend of yours who also wanted an exemption from the Rebbe. What did the Rebbe say to him when he had oh, pri yes. private... That was in a private meeting of yours with the Rebbe. That's right. What did the, what did the Rebbe tell this friend of yours? Well, uh, this very close friend of mine, I actually uh, slept in the same room as him. Uh, he was a very diligent student. He never wasted a minute. Every spare minute he was studying, even outside the times of the study hall. And... Um, he really felt that going every Wednesday was taking a big chunk out of his day on that particular day, on the Wednesday, uh, to, from his study of Torah. So uh, he wrote in to the Rebbe, he asked if he could please have an exemption and be freed from going uh, on the Wednesday hour. Because he really was seriously and sincerely interested in studying more Torah. And the Rebbe said to him, well, I'd just like you to know that, that you should be aware that all the souls in the Garden of Eden and even the soul of Moshe Rabbeinu, of Moses, are envious of you, that you have the opportunity to say Shema with a Jewish child, make a bracha with a Jewish child, and they do not. So it just goes to show how very important it is to work with little children, to give them a feeling of Judaism and how important it is and how precious they are to, uh, to do mitzvahs, to do God's commandments. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Rabbi Kassin. We want Mashiach now. All that great work Amen. that you and all your colleagues, the rabbis and rabbis of Chabad do. See, Tim, that you should do the same, my friends. Amen. That every Jewish child should have a proper Jewish or education in a good Torah true environment. God bless you, Rabbi. We Thank want Mashiach you. now. God bless you too. Thank Sacrifice. you.